So you definitely don't want to file dormant accounts for your UK limited company until you've watched this video. Now, many business owners actually make this mistake without thinking about the potential consequences down the line with agencies such as HMRC and even Companies House. Now, before we dive into some of the issues that could stem as a result of you actually filing dormant accounts for your UK limited company, I think it's important to think about some of the reasons as to why a business owner might actually want to have their company dormant in the first place. The first reason is that they are simply looking to take some sort of a break from the business. It's likely that you've been running this business for a while and for whatever reason, you might have issues in your personal life. You might be sick or you might even have things that you're dealing with in terms of family situation and you are now thinking about making this company dormant because you would like to take a break and step away from the business. The reason a business owner might actually want to create a dormant company might be for the sole purpose of actually holding assets. Now, a typical example of this might be where an investment company might choose to have a dormant company for the purposes of protecting and holding certain classes of assets and or intellectual property. Now, this works very well when you are looking to actually protect certain forms of assets, okay? If you are looking to create a dormant company for this particular purpose. A third reason someone might decide that they are looking to have a dormant company created for them is if they are actually looking to protect their reputation as a sole trader. So in this instance, let's assume that you've been running this you know, business for a while as a sole trader and you actually want to be able to protect that name that is attached to your business, but you're not quite ready to actually take the leap and have the responsibilities that come with being an actual company director running a company. Many business owners might choose to then register for a UK limited company, but actually keep that company dormant, knowing that that particular company already has the name that they have been working with as a business owner to run their business. So in this instance, you're able to protect the name that is attached to your business and prevent other businesses in future from actually using that name under a UK limited company structure. Now, before you go ahead and file dormant company accounts for your UK limited company, here are some things that you want to think about. The first is when you are in a situation where you're providing services with no actual income generation. Now, many people assume that because they've been trading and they are actually providing services to you know individuals or other businesses, but they have not yet been receiving the income for that, that makes them eligible to be able able to file dormant company accounts. In reality, this is not true because one, for the very fact that you have rendered service, that means that your company is active because if your company is not active, then you shouldn't be rendering services in the first place. The second point to note under this is just because you haven't received the income today does not mean that you are not going to receive the income, say in two weeks time or in a month's time or three months down the line. You are most likely still going to receive income for that service that your company, your business has provided in that same accounting period. So this is definitely something you want to consider if you fall under this particular scenario, which is the fact that just because you haven't received income for the services you've provided does not automatically make you eligible to file dormant company accounts. Second scenario where you might want to avoid filing for dormant accounts is where you are in a scenario where you are actually earning interest of some sort in relation to your company. Now, it might be that you're in a situation where you have a business bank account and there's some money there. It doesn't matter how much money is in the bank account. It can be 10 pounds, it can be a thousand pounds. But the very fact that you have money sitting in that business bank account, it is likely that that account is obviously generating some form of interest for that company. And that interest is counting as income received for that particular company. So in this instance, you would not be able to file for dormant accounts, okay? It would not be appropriate for you to actually file dormant accounts 
where you are in a situation where you have some money left in the business bank account and that money is actually sitting there and it's accumulating interest on top of whatever the balance in that business bank account happens to be. The next scenario where you definitely don't want to be filing dormant accounts is where you actually have stocks and shares. Okay, so where you're managing investments. It might be that you have a particular account for that particular company that you're running that actually owns stocks and shares in those accounts okay so in this instance those stocks and shares would actually count as capital and as such this will present a value in itself on your company's balance sheet in this particular scenario you do not want to file dormant accounts the next situation where you don't want to file dormant account is when you're in a situation where you're actually managing investments of some sort so this might apply where your company actually holds relevant stocks and shares okay in its name the very fact that you have those stocks and shares means that that is recognized as capital and that will reflect on the company's balance sheet in this instance you do not want to file for dormant company accounts it's very very important that you are clear on what scenarios will make you eligible to file those dormant company accounts. So if you were to carry out any of these activities that I've mentioned in this video, then you will not be eligible to actually file for dormant accounts. And in that instance, you would be required to actually file your annual tax returns as well as your company's annual accounts. If you're unsure of what you need to do, with your particular circumstance, then you do need to make sure that you are seeking the professional advice of an accountant.